All right, so just another little question here related to vector functions. Suppose we've got the vector function r of t equals 1 over uh, t squared minus 1 times i plus e to the t times j plus the natural logarithm of t plus 1 times k. We want to know which one of these three points lies on this curve. Okay, so a says we have 3, time, or 3 comma e to the fifth comma ln of 4, b we have negative 1 comma 1 0, and c says we have 1 third e to the second natural logarithm of 5. Um, so really, to figure this out, all we have to do is look at uh, the, the 1 minus t squared minus 1, we'll look at the e to the t, and then the natural logarithm of t plus 1. So the idea is there must be some value of t um, that's going to equal, so we can ask ourselves, is part a correct? So does part a work? Well, if it is correct, there's some value of t that will make 1 over t squared minus 1. We'll end up with the value 3. Uh, there's some value of t that will give us e to the fifth. And there's some value of t that will leave us with the natural logarithm of 4. Okay, so there's a value of t that satisfies all of these equations simultaneously. But I think it's pretty easy to see. If you look at the second equation, well, the solution would have to be t equals 5. But, well, if you plug t equals 5 into, you know, the, uh, the bottom one, we'll have 5 plus 1. Well, that's definitely not going to be the natural logarithm of 4. So already I know that the first point is not on the curve. Likewise, if you plug 5 into the 1 over t squared minus 1, you're not going to get 3. Okay, so that doesn't work. So we could check part b. We could look at 1 over t squared minus 1, set that equal to negative 1. We could look at e to the t, set that equal to 1. And then we could look at the natural logarithm of t plus 1, set that equal to 0. And again, I'm thinking, is there a solution? Is there a value of t that satisfies all three of these equations simultaneously? Well, again, I'm going to pick on the second one because that's easiest to me. Notice if you plug in t equals 0, e to the 0 would equal 1. Well, let's see. If we plug in t equals 0 into the first equation, we'll get 1 over 0 squared minus 1. And hey, that does equal negative 1. Likewise, if we plug t equals 0 into the bottom uh, equation, we'll get the natural logarithm of 0 plus 1. And again, the natural logarithm of 1 does equal 0. So that tells us when t equals 0, so if we plug in t equals 0 into our vector valued uh, function here, it will uh, be sitting at the point negative 1, comma 1, comma 0. So this definitely works. Likewise, I think you can go through and check the last one, see that it doesn't work. Same thing, we'll take 1 over t squared minus 1, e to the t, and the natural logarithm of t plus 1. We'll set that equal to 1 third. Um, to e squared, and then also to the natural logarithm of 5. So again, we're just asking ourselves, is there a value of t that satisfies all these simultaneously? Well, t equals 2 would be a, sol a solution to the second one. Well, let's see, does that work for the first equation? Well, we would get 1 over 2 squared minus 1. Um, that's going to be 1 over 4 minus 1, or 1 third. So hey, that one definitely works. But notice if we plug t equals 2 into the uh, bottom equation, we would get 2 plus 1, and that's not going to be the natural logarithm of 5. So there's no value of t that satisfies all of those equations simultaneously, which means that point is also not, uh, not on the curve. So part b will be our solution.